Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Carter Sirach, the productive dude here on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over a feature that kind of got overlooked with the Notion API coming into play. Uh, a lot of people are really hyped up about that, but they overlooked this new feature called Synced Blocks. And I really wanna talk about this because it's a very powerful feature. Uh, we have an API video coming out soon and it will be linked up in one of these corners when you wanna check that out. Go ahead and check that out because the API is super powerful. We're gonna have a lot of great videos about that. Um, but in this video, we're gonna talk about Synced Blocks and some use cases and basically just how to use them. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So here we are in my Notion account. If you guys are familiar with how my homepage usually looks, you might notice that it looks a little bit different now. We've got this nice little navigation bar here on the side. And let me just show you how this works because this is actually taking advantage of that synced blocks feature that I was telling you guys about. So if I wanna to go to a different area of my Notion workspace or a different page, I can literally just click on any of these. And as you can see, this synced block stays the same across every single page that I go to. And there's kind of just some continuity and it sticks together a lot better. So that's why I really like this synced blocks feature. It works great as a navigation function. Uh, I can also show you guys how to make this uh, menu. If you stick around till the end of the video, I'm going to be uh, basically going through how to create this menu for yourself. Um, it also has an add new page template button, which is really nice. It adds a new page immediately and it pulls us to a template page. So the nice thing about this is, you know, I just put my title in right here and it's ready to go. It already has my synced block in the template page. And then I just give it a new name. And if you guys watch as I give it a new name, it updates live on the right in the synced block. So let's just say I wanted to create a page called tutorial. Boom. And then I can go in here and I can change this to whatever I want it to be. Um, I can change my cover photo and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how I've been using the synced blocks feature. Now let's talk about how this feature works. And then a little bit later in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually create this navigation bar here. So to do this, I'm going to create a new page over here and I'm just going to call it synced blocks. And this will be a good way for me to kind of show you guys how this works. Uh, there we go, that's kind of cool. And I'm not gonna add a cover for now. I'm just gonna show you guys how the synced blocks feature works. So what you're gonna wanna do first is hit the little plus button and then go down all the way to synced block at the bottom. Or if you want to, you can hit a slash and then start typing synced block and that's a quicker way to get to it. So once you create a synced block, you can enter things into here. So if I do a slash, you can enter the following in here. It's like you could even do a table in here if you wanted to. I'll just stick with text for now. So I'm just gonna say hello world. So what this basically does is it makes this block so that you can dynamically edit it on other pages and it changes on every single page. So it's super powerful. Um, you know, there's a lot of use cases for this. And like I said, the navigation bar is one of those use cases. I'm gonna show you guys how to create that. But I'm sure there's a multitude of ways you could use this on your Notion projects. All you have to do is click on that synced block and then hit copy and sync. And then if you go over to like, let's say my homepage or any other page, I can just go ahead and hit command V to paste and it's already pasted in there. Or you can just right click of course and hit paste. Now let's say I wanted to add an emoji in here. So maybe like add a wave in there. Okay, and then I go back to the synced blocks page you'll notice that it updated dynamically. So that's super nice. If you wanna see all the pages that this has affected, you can go in and you can click on the editing in, and then it'll show you where the synced block is located. I'd also like to note that you can unsync blocks. So if you go in here and you click on these three dots here, you can hit unsync all, and then hit that again. And what you'll notice is you've still got hello world here, but if I edit it, put like a little smiley face in there. Uh, and then I go back to the home page. you'll see that that has just stayed the same now and it's no longer a synced block, it's just a normal text string. So now I'm going to get into how to actually go ahead and create something like a menu with these synced blocks and how to kind of have continuity between all your pages. So let's get into that. The first thing you're gonna want is like a home page, right? So like a central hub. So I'm just going to rename this home V2 because I already have my home page over here. 
but I wanna show you guys this use case. So let's do home. And then I'm just going to come up with a few different pages that I wanna create. Let's do page one might be, um, let's just say we're doing it like a traditional website. So we've got like an about page and then let's create a contact page. So you could literally make your website in Notion. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now, what I would recommend here is actually like creating some space in the page that you can uh, edit and change things and then creating a template so that you can recreate the same sort of page layout every single time. And that's what gives it that kind of continuity between all the pages. So I'm just going to put in some text so that I can uh, move this over here. And this section will be our synced block. All right, I'm also going to link, I'm gonna add a linked page, link to page, home v2, and I'm gonna put that up there. And then now that we've got that, uh, it's gonna pull up this back link here. I don't really like how that looks, so you can go over here and you can actually turn off the back link if you want to. Um, and I also usually go small text full width. I think that usually gives me a little bit more freedom here. You can change the font if you want, but to get rid of that backlink, you can just hit customize page. And instead of show popover, you could hit expand it if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna turn off. And I'm gonna turn the comments off too. Just want this to be a clean page. And then in here, we're just going to put our title, right? So let's do h2 and there we go we have a title and then what we're going to want to do next is for my particular home page i just add like a quote or a little like information section here but it's actually a quote so you can just hit this plus button and go to quote and you can start entering your quote here so enter quote here or page information. Okay, and then basically you would start entering all the content for your Notion page. I've made a ton of Notion videos, so if you guys wanna check them out, see some different ways that you can use Notion for things like habit trackers, to-do lists, note databases, things like that, then definitely check out our Notion playlist. We've got tons of videos in there and I can basically give you guys some pages to fill in your Notion if you want to. And that's kind of where the content would go. It would kind of just go right in here. So I'm just gonna put a placeholder right now. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like because that really helps us out a ton. You can also subscribe, but if you wanna get notified when we come out with a video, make sure you hit the bell and that will give us the best chance of actually getting those videos out to you. Um, so. Yeah, if you want to, go for it. A like really does help though, so we'd appreciate that. And if you want to, go ahead and leave uh, some feedback in the comments, thanks. Now, I almost forgot, we're actually going to add a template button. So I'm actually just going to delete these pages for now, and then we'll add them back in just a second, very quickly and easily with the template button because we already have the layout that we want right here. So what I'm actually going to do is just turn this into a sync block here. So let's just do synced block and another way that you can actually do this is just by simply dragging them into the sync block um, but what I want to add in here next is a template button so let's do template button and we're gonna give it a name of add a new page whatever um, and then within here we're going to put the uh, page that we want to create so we have to actually create our template, right? So let's just do page, template. Um, actually, let's just name it new page. And then I'm gonna give it a, a wave. And we're gonna set our settings how we wanted them. I could have saved a lot of time if I would have just done this the first time. But hey, that's what templates are for. So customize page, turn off backlinks. I'm gonna paste our synced block and then I'm gonna put a title, quote here and then content, pretty simple template. And I'm gonna drag that 
Let's make sure all these are lined up correctly as well. And I'm just gonna come in here and I like to use an H2 for this. And then for the quote, you can just put in a simple quote and then you've got your content, right? So that's great, we've got our new page. Oh, I just realized I accidentally put the wrong synced block in here. So let's go back to home really quick. So I have the hello world synced block in there, but this is the synced block that I wanted. So I'm just gonna uh, copy and sync. And then I'm gonna go to configure template. That's good, how it says add new page. And I'm just gonna go into this template page and instead of hello world, we're gonna paste in our synced block. Get it, pull it over. And then there we have it. That is kind of how I wanted it to look actually. So then I'm gonna go back to home and we're gonna hit add new page. And now the old page is hello world and the new one, since we changed it over, has our synced block. So let's just delete these out of here, start fresh. All right, so now we're gonna start actually adding those pages that I added earlier, but they're actually going to fit into the template. So it'll be kind of nice. I'm just going to hit add a new page, click into the page and over here, I'm just going to change it to about wave is fine about page. This is where I like to talk about myself. All right, so my about page is done. I'm gonna add another page here. Let's do a services page. All right, services page is done. Now I'm gonna add the final page, a contact page. So let's use our template button again. And we're gonna call it contact. All right, so now we basically created a full on website in Notion. Um, we've got our about page, our services page, and a contact page where I even went ahead and embedded a Google form. So people can literally fill this out and then they can hit submit and it sends right there straight away. So that's kind of nice. Uh, let's actually change this here to maybe a phone, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video on synced blocks in Notion. I'm excited to hear how you guys are going to be using synced blocks. So leave a comment below if you guys have any questions or leave a comment below if you have a good use case for synced blocks. And like this video if you guys enjoyed this video, it helps us out a ton. I'll see you guys in the next one.